Hmm, how can I detect languages in text? Well, I could use Google Translate, but I can also use ServiceNow from the San Diego release. And I can take advantage of this feature in my own business processes that I build, for example, with Flows using Flow Designer. Let's take a look at an example. So the use case I'm going to demonstrate is when an incoming email in a particular language is received, uh, we want to be able to detect that language and then use that as the basis later to maybe find the right person in our group to work on that incident who speaks that language. So in, in preparation for this demonstration, I've got an incident form here and I've got the skills field displayed here. Uh, if you open it, I've got a few languages here so you can put in languages here manually as well as some other skill. And if I go to my skills table, I've got a whole bunch of languages here listed. Note also that I've also got the two letter code uh, for each of the languages, which I'm going to refer to in the flow that I create. In addition, I've got a couple of emails here waiting to be processed. Uh, I've got one here in German and I've got another one here in Swedish and they've got a body as well just with one or two lines in there and that's actually what we're going to be using to detect the language is the body of the email. So let's go ahead and create the flow. So I'm going to come to ServiceNow Studio. I've created a simple app for this to contain my flow. So I'll go ahead and create a new flow. And I'll just give this flow a name. And I'll put in a description as well. Okay, so my trigger is going to be inbound email. For this demonstration, I'll just add a simple condition here where the subject contains that there. So my two emails uh, have that localization code in the subject. I'll go ahead and save it. And now we'll go ahead and add an action. The action that we're looking for is called detect language. It's the one under dynamic translation here. So detect language. You can see it's got a couple of inputs, one being the, the text. So we can go ahead and drag and drop the body text from the email over. And the other import is a translator. Now I'm going to put in ServiceNow here and then save this flow. And come back to my instance. And I'm just going to open up a list here called Translator Configurations. Now, if you have dynamic translation activated, you'll see these three here. They are provided out of the box. Uh, what I've done already is activated the one for ServiceNow. This wasn't activated before, so all I did was check this box. And now we can use that service in our translation. And maybe before we go any further, we can actually test this action. So if I come to my list of actions here, Again, open up the one that is in the dynamic translation spoke. You can see it's got uh, these two inputs that we just saw, and it has uh, a script there to do the heavy lifting. So if we go ahead and test this with some sample text, thus here is Alf Deutsch. This here is in German. Specify ServiceNow as a translator, run the test, view the execution details. And if we scroll down, uh, we can see the outputs from this action. Uh, the, what we're really looking for is a language or language code. And this is contained in the detect language uh, output data here. 
So if we open up this, we can see that the language detected was German. And we've got a pretty high confidence there. That's pretty close to one. So in other words, very confident that this, that text was in German. So if we close that and go back to our flow. So now we're in a position where we can develop our flow. But before we go ahead and create an incident, we need to do a lookup of the skills table using the language that we detected from the detect language action. So I'll go ahead here and do a lookup record under ServiceNow Core. Sometimes there's more than one with the same name or a similar name. So just make sure I get the right action. The table will be the skills table. I want to do a lookup based on the name. And I'm going to select uh, ends with here because all my skills or my language skills and my skills table actually end with the two letter language code. So in this case, it's very simple here with this ends with operator. And then I can just drag and drop the detected language, not this data pill, however, but the one underneath it, the code here. Just drag and drop that here. Okay, so now that we've got that, we can click on done and go ahead and create our incident. So in this case, I'll select create record. And now you can just populate the new record as you normally would with this action. So I'm going to select incident and then populate the following fields. The caller, the short description, the description, and then the skill where I'm going to add the language skill that we've found in the action number two here, this lookup. So the short description or the caller in this case will be the user record that we identify in the incoming email. The short description will be the subject. The description will be the body text. And then finally, the skill we'll need to pull from our second action, our lookup record here, where we actually uh, find the, not the skill record, but we need to just get the name from that record and put that in there. And that should be it. So if we go ahead and test this now, we should find, hopefully, that it works. Let's go ahead and save it before we do test it. Now again, I'm going to test this using the emails that we've got here in this list. Uh, both of them begin uh, with L10N. So I'll just take this one as an example. I'll take this one first in German. Uh, it is the Sicherheitswarnung subject. So we'll go ahead in our flow and select that. Email this one here. Run the test. And let's go ahead and have a look at the resulting incident that we created. So we've got incident created, let's open it. We can see the caller is populated, the short description is there. Uh, the description is not here because I haven't displayed that field, but I'm pretty sure it's there. Uh, but importantly, we've got the German DE as the skill set for this incident. And as I said, we can now use this perhaps as the basis to assign this to the right person in the team who has German language skills. Let's do a second test now with the Swedish email. I'll come back here and select the second email, the Sekerheds Varning incident, run that, and again, come back to our incident list. We've got a second incident created, excellent. 
And if we open it, same data in there, except the skill now is set to Swedish because it's detected that as a language of the email. So there you have it. Uh, a way to easily detect a language of an incoming email using dynamic translation and do with that as you will. But here, this is a pretty typical use case where we can use a language for assignment purposes, but you could use it for any other purpose that you wish. So thanks for watching and see you next time.